Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy John and in today's episode of John vs. New York City, we're not in Times Square, thank goodness. No disrespect to Times Square, of course. We're actually here in, what is this, West Village? I forgot where this is exact. I don't even know New York City like that. But anyways, cameraman, B-roll time, show him, baby, let's go. Ooh, cool transition shot with the bikers. I don't know if you got them there. You see that? All right, all right, all right, that's enough. Bring him back, bring him back. Yes, that's right, we're here at Flannery's Bar on West 14th and 7th Avenue because this is the home of the New York Spurs fans. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm exhausted. Manchester United had me feeling all kinds. I was down bad yesterday. I was tired, my voice is shot. But hopefully today, we get something different because today, we're gonna watch the, uh, the Spurs versus Chelsea match. There were hella Spurs fans walking around with, uh, with uh, Spurs jerseys. I saw lots of sunny jerseys. Um, and I'm gonna try and infiltrate today. I'm gonna show them. Cameraman, can you zoom in on this? Not here. Don't 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 do this. There's nothing to see here. I'm talking about here. Yeah. Uh, so I I would put on the shirt, uh, but it doesn't fit anymore because you know I'm getting a little bit away. But anyways, oh uh, yeah, we're gonna go uh, talk to some Spurs fans, see how they feel about this season, talk to them about their chances of making the top four, all things Spurs, and hopefully uh, we'll get some some good uh, conversations going. Yeah, Jimmy, let's go. All right, we're here with Michael. Uh, Michael, what are your thoughts on today's game? Uh. Well, a little bit worried because Chelsea, you know, but uh, with Conte, I think we could be good. Okay. I've spoken to a lot of Spurs fans here in New York City. Everybody says the same name all the time, Conte. How happy are you with Conte's appointment and how what he's done so far? Definitely the, the confidence levels are much higher. Kane staying, well, I guess the future's bright with him. Okay, speaking of the future, where do you see Spurs finishing this season? Top of the table. <laughs> okay. You heard it here, top of the table. All right, um, before I let you go, score predictions for today's game. 2-1 Spurs. All right, you heard it here, thank you so much. All right, sure, Let's, uh, have your name, sir? Um, Winston. Winston, nice to meet you, my name's John. And right, we're here with Winston. He's a Chelsea fan in front of Flatteries. Wow, he, are, you, are you not scared? No, not going into the pub. <laughs> okay, he's not going into the pub, of course. That's good. Okay, so what are your thoughts on today's game? Of course, Chelsea played Tottenham Hotspur. Do you think uh, Chelsea have what it takes to beat Spurs? Yeah, over the past four seasons, we've never lost a game to Spurs, I think. So our winning chances are high. I looked on Google and it was a 54% chance we win. So I think, yeah, we'll definitely win. Okay, well, he's hit, he's hit me with numbers. He's hit me with confidence. These Spurs fans better be scared. All right, before I let you go, what are your uh, what's your score predictions for today's game? 2-1 Chelsea. Say that one more time. 2-1 Chelsea. Who's scoring for Chelsea? Uh, Mason Mount and Sterling. Uh, you heard it here. Hey, Winston, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's really dark. There's a lot of Spurs It goes all the way deep. You can't you gotta get out. Like Uh, the energy is insane. Uh, I don't even have space to uh, take out this microphone, but uh, we'll we'll try and follow the game as we go along. Yeah, uh, the camera's so tight, we don't even have enough space. Let's just watch the game. Two new signings linked up. All right, it's halftime here. Uh, Spurs are down 1-0 thanks to a Koulibaly goal. Uh, I really thought that Koulibaly was going to be a decent signing for Chelsea. I didn't think he'd have such an instant impact. Not only did he, have, not only did he score the goal, he had another chance uh, earlier on in that, that first half. Chelsea really dominated. Once that goal went in, Chelsea was just going to keep that ball and just try to spread Spurs as wide as possible. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Spurs might not look as uh, energetic and ecstatic as they usually are, but... Sessegnon, to me personally, seems to be the biggest problem. I think Sessegnon needs to do better. I think he's probably the weakest link at that side right now on that pitch. I know Kulusevski and Bettencourt had errors here and there, but despite an overall subpar performance from the entire Spurs side in that first half, I think Sessegnon, for me, has been the weakest link. And if Conte's going to need to shake things up real bad, because the Chelsea team is just going to keep that ball, they're going to keep spreading them wide. Raza, Raheem Sterling's looking pretty damn mint. Ruben Loftus-Cheek up there. Havertz up there, Mount all over the place. There, Cucurella looking damn solid as well. I mean, the one-touch play between uh, between Chelsea players looks absolutely clean. Conte's got a big task ahead of him. 
I don't think it's completely over just yet. I think Spurs have plenty of uh, uh, power and depth on the bench. Yves Basuma didn't start. Uh, Richarlison also didn't start. Perisic didn't start. I can't hear shit here, uh, but also <laughs> Perisic didn't start. So Conte definitely has enough depth on his bench. I think he can really work something out here. And uh, it's going to be an exciting second half. These fans are absolutely wild. I love it. The energy here is absolutely busting. Uh, I think Flannery's is dope. If you guys are Spurs fans here in New York City, I strongly recommend you guys come in here to Flannery's. I think this place is amazing. We'll check back in for the second half. Until then, let's get it. <laughs> Sessignon is off, I told you. That boy is a hot can of ass. Get there, get there. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. I think Conte need to make a couple more changes, and I think they can I think they can come away with something. 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 Water break, water break, something, something, water break. Fantastic goal. I can't even see who it was. It was obviously Hoisberg, you stupid idiot. Wow, wow, wow. I don't even know where to begin. Uh, Chelsea 2, Spurs 2. Let me just give you guys my thoughts as a Man United fan. Sitting in there, the atmosphere was fantastic. Shoutouts to the New York Spurs fans. Uh, They're absolutely fantastic. New York Reds, hey, Manchester United fans, I know we could do just as good, so don't worry about that. I'm just, I'm just propping these guys up because they were fantastic. The atmosphere was incredible. Literally, the bar was shaking. It was f***ing nuts. Speaking about the game, I'm a bit concerned. And I'm concerned because... I think Conte has something here. I think Conte is building something in this Spurs side. You know, every Spurs fan we've been talking to since we started the series, we've been talking to Spurs fans, and the one name that comes up constantly is Antonio Conte. These guys were singing Antonio Conte's name the entire time. And I really, I don't blame them. Conte has them working here. When, Spur, when Chelsea, uh, when Spurs drew, I mean, I thought the atmosphere was incredible. When Chelsea went 2-1, went I, I mean, they had, Spurs had depth, don't, don't get me wrong. Yves Basuma coming off the bench, Ivan Perisic, uh, who else came out? Was Charleston coming off making an instant impact? I thought they they could get something, but I wasn't sure because Chelsea, for the most part, I thought I thought Chelsea, <laughs> I thought Chelsea for the most part were dominating that that game. They were so structured offensively. The press was incredible. Defensively, they were able to maintain that possession without a problem. I thought Spurs were actually getting run apart, uh, run ragged at times, and I was really getting concerned. But the one thing, Antonio Conte, he knows how to get these boys to fight till the very end. That goal from Harry Kane, the whole time while I was in there, I was actually annoyed that uh, Harry Kane was on the pitch and Sonny wasn't. And I was concerned. I was like, why, why take off Sonny? I mean, obviously, there's a bit of that bias, but when Harry Kane pulled up with that bit of magic, uh, these, these fans, they let me know. They let me know why Harry Kane deserved to stay on that pitch. And it's a really, really good point. Getting a draw at, at the bridge against a very organized and structured Chelsea side. I mean, Kontik and the boys, they can walk away. These guys can walk home happy because that was a fantastic result. Let's go chat to some of these fans and see what they have to say. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Can I get your name? Can I get your name? I'm Jamie. Jamie, nice to meet you. Yeah, My name is John. Nice Just real quick, what are your thoughts on that match? Uh, it, it feels like a win. Okay. Um, I mean, it got pretty tasty in there. But, Wait, um, I'm sorry. His friends are all laughing at him. I want to know why. <laughs> Ah, bro. It said you, you said it felt like a win. I mean, just clinching at the end, yeah, it feels like a win. Did you always believe in it? Did you always honestly believe in it? At Stamford Bridge? I mean, today was going to be, if any day or today was going to be the day, but you never know at Stamford Bridge. So. I, I really, I, every Spurs fan I've talked to, they always mention Antonio Conte. How do you feel about him taking over Spurs and really creating something special here? Pure passion today. 
brings the energy. Fashion, yeah. Antonio Conte! Antonio Conte! And Advisor Immaculate here. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. What are your thoughts on today's game? Uh, you know, I think we came out a little bit uh, lagging behind. Uh, Tuchel really, like, out-strategized Conte in the beginning. But I actually think that Antonio had the whole thing, like, <laughs> master planned out. And I think it went the exact way he wanted it to. The guys are energized. The boys are, like, it was a draw, but it was, like, a hard-fought one. And Tuchel is a fucking clown, honestly. <laughs> Uh, if there's one word that I can really sum up you guys in there, it was belief. I feel like you guys were, throughout the entire match, you guys were backing Conte till the end. Did you believe that you were going to come away with something at least? Yeah, I mean, we weren't giving up. You know, when you have Antonio and you have the talent, you have Richarlison, who I don't think a lot of people thought was going to come on, but he provided a spark. Uh, and we saw some of the new legs, some of the fresh feet, and uh, we got goals. Kane scored, and that's all you can ask for at this point in the season. All right, last question. How much do you love Antonio Conte and what he's done for the Spurs organization right now? I think I love him more than I love me, and that's saying a lot. I love him more than Kanye loves Kanye. I fucking love Antonio Conte. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you, my man. Thank you, John. Thank you. Spurs fans want to chat on camera? Anybody want to chat about Spurs on camera? Nah? I see you looking at me. I see you looking at me. Come on, let's go, let's go. My man's been smiling at me the whole time. Let's go. Uh, can I get your name, sir? I'm Brian. Hey, Brian, nice to meet you. My name's John. Can I get your thoughts on today's game? To be honest, I think there was a, a big mistake in bringing Richarlison on for Cess. I think Sancho should have just come off at that point because that was that's where the goal came from. Uh, if, if, there, if, if we had had a left wing back playing, we wouldn't have gotten the second goal. We would have maybe, maybe had a chance to get the win. But of course, I'm very happy with the draw. Pulled it out at the last minute, but I'm still a little upset about that decision, to be honest. Okay, well, you're the first fan who actually came at me with something like, oh, I could have walked away with three points. That tells me there's a lot of belief. Does that come from Antonio Conte? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How much do you love Antonio Conte, for real? Because you guys are screaming his name the whole, the whole oh, time. I absolutely love Antonio Conte, but I will say, that was his decision to bring Richarlison on for Cess instead of for Son. And I understand, like, we want to give Son the chance, but he was quiet. He, he needed to wake up at the beginning of the game, and he didn't, and that's a, and that's a problem. And, and I think he could have fixed that with bringing, you know, bringing Richarlison on straight on for Son. So. That, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm a manager and I find myself. Oh, that geez. depth, as, yeah. <laughs> bringing off Bissouma, bringing on Ivan Perisic, bringing yeah. on, you know what I'm saying? Like, that depth is pretty strong for a Spurs side. Are you, how happy are you with the transfer market? Crazy happy with the transfer window, for sure. And then on top of that, we have these players that we can sub in right now, but we're also planning for the future. You got Jed Spence now. Um, we got Udogi just just was purchased this week as well. So it, you can tell they're planning for the future as well as also, you know, planning for this season. So. All right, last question. Do you think you'll finish above Chelsea this season? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys, you guys want to chat on camera? You guys okay? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Come on. Right outside. Right outside. Uh, nice to meet you. What's your name? Patrick. 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 Nice to meet you. My name is John. Can I get your thoughts on today's game? Oh my God. Today's game was amazing. Games like those where we play shitty and still take a point from a top four team is how we win the league, baby. <laughs> it's how we win the league, baby. Do you honestly believe that Spurs have what it takes to win the league? Honestly speaking. I know you're very excited right now, but. Honestly, I'm a very level-headed guy. Uh, um, okay, you're gonna open with that, alright. So, yeah. I'm, ah, you heard it from him. Yeah. I didn't say. It. Yeah, man. <laughs> we keep playing like that with resilience, with confidence, with belief. We could do it. This year, we could do it. It's I gonna be tough, but we could do it. I think the main reason as to why you guys are filled with belief and energy is Antonio Conte. How much do you love this guy? I love Antonio Conte. I gotta say, I gotta say, today was a game about tactics. Tuchel plays a uh, three in the back. His uh, tactics that he used today really suffocates our back line and our wing backs coming in. Once he changed the f formation up, we looked a lot more threatening. We got a goal. We had a lot more chances and whatnot. So I think T Conte needs to be able to become formless with his tactics, you know? He likes to stick to one tactic a lot. If he changes up his tactics, I can see us going far, like we did today. <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying, but uh, last question. Do you, think Chelsea, uh, do you think Spurs can finish above Chelsea? Of course. Of course, third place, third Chelsea, fourth Arsenal. I mean, ah. whoa, 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 third Spurs, fourth Arsenal. All right, go. Cool. I, I appreciate it. You guys have a YouTube channel? Yes, sir. It's called uh, Good Vibes John. Good Vibes John. Yeah, I'm, my my job this season is to try and promote all of the Premier League teams yes. in New York City. So we're ah. working on it. <laughs> your Spurs guys. No, no, sorry. On, I just want to go around the it's city showing love to all the America's Premier League teams. We're starting to love uh, football. You know what I mean? We're starting to love the Premier League. So. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate so, it. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys.
Great to meet you. I'm running a channel called Good Vibes John. We're trying to promote more the Premier League in New York City. I just want to see if I can, uh, you know, get a moment of your time. I just sure, want to chat to you about sure, Spurs. Sure, sure. Okay. Several, several drinks in, so this okay. is going to be ideal. <laughs> how are you, what are your thoughts on today's match? What did you, how did you feel? We played like absolute trash, but came away with a draw, so I'm very, very happy. Okay, yeah. nice and short. So, uh, I mean, when I was in there, the atmosphere was fantastic. I really felt the bar shaking. It was incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys were fantastic. But the name that was shouted constantly, oh, shit. Oh. The name that was shouted constantly was Antonio Conte. How much do you love him? I uh, completely love him. We came to Stanford Bridge, haven't won there in a long, long time. Came away with a draw and it feels like a win. I mean, we played like trash. Did you honestly believe that you were going to walk away with something? Because honestly, for the most part, for me personally, I was watching that Chelsea side absolutely dominating possession. They looked structured and defensively. Yep. Did you think that Spurs were going to continue to stay in the fight and win? Uh, we played really, really well the second half of last season. Uh, so I felt really comfortable coming in. We won very comfortably last week. Had a good preseason and brought in some great players. So I thought, you know, coming in, I came. Usually I come here with some anxiety and I'm a little bit nervous. Today, no problems. I was like, nah, we're going to come away with something here. We're going to come away. I thought we would have won it, but we again, we played like absolute trash. Maybe the occasion, maybe the weather in London, who knows? But um, yeah, I'm happy about it. Okay, last question. Do you think you'll finish above uh, Chelsea this season? Uh, 100%. <laughs> Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> All right, and the last point. Sure. Do you have anything you want to say to the fans? If any Spurs fans are out here in New York that want to uh, want a place to go watch Spurs game with uh, you know familiar fans? Sure. Uh, this is the place to come. Come early and stay after the final whistle. Don't be leaving five or ten minutes afterwards. Stick around, get drunk, weird. This is the place to be. It's a lot of fun. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you guys. All right, that's it for me for today. Holy shit, I am exhausted. I am tired. Do you see my post? Give him... Yeah, I got the old man post. Hey, peep the, the crep check, though. You know, no, anyway. <laughs> I'm tired. The, these fans are they are absolutely incredible. <laughs> Don't worry. Manchester United fans, New York Reds, I'm coming to Smithfield. I promise you, we're going to be there. But today was an incredible experience, honestly speaking. If you guys are Spurs fans watching this, especially here in New York City, please come to Flannery's. I think this crowd is wonderful, and they absolutely love everything, everything Spurs. And if you guys need supporters, friendly supporters to watch the game with, Flannery is the place to go. Uh, that's it for me for today. That's it for me for Jim and Jimmy. I think Jimmy's lit. Uh, we're out. Let's get the hell out of here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please, please, please show us some love by subscribing to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You know all that good stuff. All right, I'm tired as hell. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, shit. I don't know what the is going on. Ah!